Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 146. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Who among the following was the first president of Constituent Assembly of India? The correct answer is Dr. Sachidananda Sinha. Dr. Sachidananda Sinha was the first president and temporary chairman of the Constituent Assembly when it met on December 9, 1946. Dr. Rajendra Prasad then became the President of the Constituent Assembly and would later become the first President of Independent India. The Vice President of the Constituent Assembly was Professor Harendra Kumar Mukherjee, a former Vice Chancellor of Calcutta University and a prominent Christian from Bengal who also served as the Chairman of the Constituent Assembly's Minorities Community. He was appointed Governor of West Bengal after India became a Republic. In which among the following years the constitution of India was amended for the first time? The correct answer is 1951. The formal title of the amendment is Constitution First Amendment Act 1951. It was moved by then Prime Minister of India Jawaharlal Nehru on 10th May 1951 and enacted by Parliament on 18 June 1951. The Official Languages Act 1963 provided that English be continued to be used in addition to Hindi for official purposes. English was the only language used for official purpose in British India. In the independent India, it was declared in Article 343.1 that Hindi will be the official union language. It was also mentioned that over a period of 15 years since the commencement of the Indian constitution, Hindi will replace English as the official language. However, the parliament can decide whether to use English as an official language or not. The non-Hindi speaking communities across the country protested on the aspect of change in official language from English to Hindi. This protest resulted in the enactment of Official Language Act 1963. According to the Act, Hindi in Devanagari script has been declared the official language of union. However, English may also be used for official purposes even after 1965. English has been given the status of the subsidiary official language of India. It was decided that either Hindi or English can be used for procedures of parliament. Which among the following amendments of the constitution of India fully secured the constitution validity of zamindari abolition laws? The correct answer is the first amendment. The zamindari system was mostly abolished in the independent India soon after its creation with the first amendment to the constitution of India which amended the right to property as in Articles 19 and 31. This allowed the states to make their own Zamindari Abolition Acts. In which year Union territories were introduced in India? The correct answer is 1956. Uh, so reorganization of states on linguistic lines, abolition of class A, B, C, D states and introduction of Union territories was done by Constitution's 7th Amendment Act in 1956. The premium payable by an insured person under the Aam Aadmi Bhima Yojana is none of them. So this is a social security scheme for rural landless households and was launched on 2nd October 2007. There is a premium of 200 but that is shared equally by the central and state government. So the insured person doesn't really have to pay anything. The member to be covered should be aged between 18 and 59 years and they must be the only earning member or one person from a rural household that doesn't own any land. Who among the following has written Bidrohi, the one of the most famous Bengali poems? The correct answer is Kazi Nazrul Islam. Bidrohi is a popular revolutionary Bengali poem and the most famous poem written by Kazi Nazrul Islam in December 1921. Originally published in several periodicals, the poem was first collected in 1922 in a volume titled Ogni Bina, the first anthology of Nazrul's poems. The Economic Advisory Council has been established in India as per... So, none of these are the correct op options. It is a non-constitutional and non-permanent independent body constituted to give economic advice to the government of India specifically to the Prime Minister. So it's neither an act of the Parliament or an ordinance by the President or mentioned in the Constitution of India. Which among the following is generally called a talk shop? The correct answer is World Economic Forum. 
The World Economic Forum, based in Colony, Geneva, Switzerland, was founded in 1971 as a non-profit organization. It gained formal status in January 2015 under the Swiss Host State Act, confirming the role of the forum as an international institution for public-private cooperation. Which among the following terms precisely defines the loans given to cultivators for seeds, farm implements, etc. in the Sultanate and Mughal period? The correct answer is Takavi. Muhammad bin Tughlaq adopted a stern policy where he provoked rebellion by the rural chiefs and the peasants. But interestingly, he was also the first Indian ruler in recorded history to advance loans or Takavi to the villagers for rehabilitation following a disastrous famine. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.